Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 34 of 2020 appointing Hamad Yaqub Al Mahmid as General Coordinator for Studies and Research and Sarah Ahmed Bouhadji as General Coordinator for Media and Communication at the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 10 of 2020 appointing Ahmed Khalid Ali Al Arafi as Media Director and Minar Ahmed Abdullah Thani as Communication Director at the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to alleviate the financial burdens on citizens, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Assam Khalaf issued ministerial decision to alleviate and exempt 156 Bahraini families from municipal fees who doesn't own their own place but live in a rented place through the period of April to May of this year. The minister highlighted that these decisions come in line with uh, aspiration of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide a high living standard for all citizens and affirmed the ministry's keenness to achieve that. He added that there is a continuous coordination between the municipality's affairs and the Consumer Affairs Services Department at the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority in order to implement the ministerial decision. Works Minister exempts 156 Bahraini families from the municipal fees. A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments of COVID-19. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al-Mana, praised the Kingdom's approach in dealing with the crisis and hailed the work of the government and the medical cadres in combating the virus. He stressed that the upcoming phase requires personal responsibilities and committing to precautionary measures in order that individuals protect themselves, their families and their communities. He pointed out that the rise in number of cases in recent days is the result of people not committing to precautionary measures. He he stressed the importance of wearing face masks and committing to social distancing. Al Mana affirmed that the capacity has been raised at isolation centers, infectious diseases consultant, and microbiologists at the BDF Hospital. Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf Al Ghahtani said that there are a number of precautionary measures for safe entry into the homes that must be adhered to. And before touching anything, it is important to put the shoes outside the house with the need for sterilization and the availability of a box at the entrance where all personal belongings are placed. He added after that, wear gloves and sleeves, sterilize all belongings, dispose the outer bags with the gloves and sleeves, wash your hands with soap and water for a period of not less than 40 seconds. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, affirmed the importance of committing to precautionary and preventive measures in order to ensure the safety of all. She added that out of all cases, only 48 cases need medical treatment and 4,875 cases are stable and 7,407 cases have fully recovered and have been discharged. She stressed the importance of following instructions and avoid family gatherings in order to ensure the safety of all. Chief Prosecutor Adnan Al-Wada'i stated that the lower criminal court issued rulings against six defendants who did not commit to imposed home isolation to prevent the spread of the coronavirus and that the court fined each violator 1,000 Bahraini dinars. Public prosecution was notified by the Public Health Department that a total of six people violated the order of home isolation imposed on them after their contact with infected coronavirus cases and through, and through follow-up it was revealed that they left their homes on different dates. On the other hand, the public prosecution began investigating reports received from the public health department against 27 defendants for their lack of commitment to home isolation as they left their homes for at different times during their isolation period. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,144 with 13 recoveries and 345 registered new cases and one death. The deceased, a 37-year-old male expatriate who was a registered active case of the coronavirus, was suffering from underlying and chronic health problems. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions, such as washing hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact, in addition to covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman stressed that the main goal of the Sultanate since the first case of the corona pandemic is to protect all who live on the Sultanate's land in addition to the country 
continuity of the state's work and performance of its duties and reducing the impact on all sectors. His Majesty Sultan Haytham indicated during his presidency of a meeting of the Supreme Committee in charge of discussing a mechanism to deal with developments resulting from the spread of the coronavirus that it became important to live with these emerging situations and adapt to it gradually, which is only possible if all members of society join hands by following all necessary precautions and preventive measures. An official source at the Saudi Ministry of Interior stated that the kingdom is in the process of taking precautionary measures and additional preventive measures for a number of sectors in order to limit the spread of the emerging coronavirus. Meanwhile, a spokesman for the Saudi Ministry of Health announced that 17,343 cases have fully recovered, while the total number of examinations exceeded 85,397. The UAE announced that 35,000 new tests on different groups in society contributed to the detection of 596 new cases of coronavirus, noting that all cases are stable and subject to the necessary health care. It also announced a recovery of 388 new cases, bringing the total number of recoveries to more than 18,000. And now we move to Baral for the latest in business news. Thank you, Mohammed. Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah and starting with the local stocks, as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,275.39 points, marking an increase of 5.67 points above the previous closing. This increase was due to the rise in the commercial bank sector, investment sector and industrial sector. Results indicated that 63 equity transactions took place with a volume of 3,354,115 worth 1,057,515 investors traded mainly in the services sector representing 78.36% of the total value of securities traded. Bank ABC, Minas International Bank, along with its subsidiaries, ELA Bank and MIA, region's leading payment solutions provider and fintech enabler Arab Financial Services, AFS, entered a founding partnership with Bahrain Fintech Bay, BFB. This strategic alliance illustrates Bank ABC and BFB's continued commitment to play a pivotal role in the development of the fintech ecosystem in the Kingdom of Bahrain and expedite its transformation into a cashless digital economy. Italians and other European Union citizens stranded in Italy since the beginning of March can now fly to most of the EU and Schengen area countries. As European skies reopened today morning from the coronavirus lockdown, many eager passengers queued at the airport before June 3rd. Only those who had urgent professional reasons were allowed to travel between Italy and other European countries. Video conferencing app Zoom in a quarterly report today said it doubled its sales forecast for the year and posted considerable gains in total revenue and customers. The company disclosed that it had 30 times the amount of users compared to December results as the coronavirus pandemic forced employees to work from home offices. The global disruption to the working life reshaped the company from corporate tool to a digital hangout space. Chief executive and founder of Zoom said the crisis had driven demand for the services as people integrated Zoom into their work, learning and personal lives. 
Facebook, WhatsApp, and PayPal Holdings today said they have invested in payment, food delivery, and ride-hailing app operator Gojek as part of the Indonesian firm's ongoing fundraising round. WhatsApp and PayPal did not disclose the size of the investment or the stakes they would receive. A Gojek investor said that WhatsApp investment was meaningful. WhatsApp Chief Operations Officer Matt Edema in a post of a blog said that his company would work with Gojek to support the growth of millions of small businesses. And that's all for the business news for this evening. And it's back to you, Mohammed. Thank you, Bala. Farmers in the Ivory Coast are introducing drone technology to help optimize agricultural operations. The drones are used to increase crop production and monitor growth using 3D maps. Stock checks and growth reports that until recently have been done on foot are now being completed in record times thanks to these machines manufactured by Ivory Coast drones. In recent years, the use of drones has escalated rapidly in a multitude of industries carrying out food, food and medical deliveries, military observations, crop monitoring and surveillance exercise, as well as being used for sport and recreations.